everybody. This is Tom Backrack from RMC, and today I am joined with RMC's workers' comp specialist, Terry Wenzel. And we're going to be chatting a little bit today about workers' comp and where it can be useful and just some of the information, some of the questions that people have just as general consumers. So, Terry, I guess to start it off, when I'm driving around, uh, occasionally I hear um, an advertisement for, I believe it's Pi Insurance, and they seem to be the next best thing to slice bread as far as workers' comp. Um, or are they just, what's good, what's bad, why would you use Pi, why would you use somebody like RMC Group? Sure thing, Tom. I mean, I've seen... The commercials also have heard it on the radio as well. What uh, Pi Insurance is, they're an insure tech company that's 100% based online. There's no physical interaction. It's mainly geared towards the small business owner that could secure work comp coverage through an app or quickly from that standpoint. Is Are they better or worse than, say, a brokerage carrier that we would offer? Oh, great question. 100% worse and the reason being is there's no human interaction they don't supply any risk management on it or claims management and so you definitely want to go with a regional broker powerhouse when it comes to your workers compensation well all right so that's interesting because that kind of leads me into you know pi sounds much like people will like it because of the convenience kind of like a PEO, a PEO. And I, I've seen as a broker and with the people that we interact with, a lot of times PEOs, while they have value for human resource services and payroll, a lot of times they'll out, offer workers comp, but it seems to be um, less than, we'll say, because it's just purely being given out of convenience and the convenience of the PEO. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Terry? Yeah, I actually come from a PEO background. I started off uh, right out of college. And the main benefit of the PEO when I was coming out of college was for workers' compensation was the hot button. These are companies that cannot secure workers' compensation on the main market. So they go to a PEO where they enter into a co-employer relationship and they can secure workers' compensation under a master policy that the PEO provides. So the main focus for an individual looking to go on, go on board with a PEO would be a high risk company. Examples are roofers, uh, you know, any kind of house construction, anything that essentially goes up and moves very fast. What I mean by up height exposure or from a transportation standpoint, those would be the benefits of accessing a PEO. So then would would a workers' comp policy in a PEO or something like PI, because it's not using, it actually seems like because they're using a collective instead of individual experiences, um, are you, is that working to their advantage or to their disadvantage? Because it seems like if you've got good claims experience, that's probably the last place you would want to be. 100%. Individuals that go this route obviously don't have nowhere else to go or haven't checked with a regional powerhouse such as RMC. So you're 100% correct on that. Okay. All right. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, and again, working with PEOs and working with the high insurance, you're kind of hitting on something that has always been a concern for me. You know, we are, you and I are governed by the canons of our profession. Right. And that is to always look toward the client first. Help with help me to understand and, and maybe discuss a little bit more the difference between what a regional or international company like RMC does as far as risk management versus just really offering or selling a policy. Oh, absolutely. There, there are many benefits to risk management and all companies should be exploring that avenue when they're looking at securing a broker or a work comp policy 100%. Uh, when it comes to risk management, there's basically five points I'd like to hit on. The first one is reducing workplace injuries. 
And this is an effective risk management can help identify, address potential hazards in the workplace. And then we also got lowering the workers' compensation costs. Now, this is by implementing risk management strategies that can help uh, reduce the number and severity of workplace injuries, which therefore will bring down your workers' compensation. And then third, it's improving productivity. When your employees are healthy and feel safe in a work environment, they tend to be more productive. And then we got enhanced employee morale. Now, if your employees know that you teamed up with a uh, you know, a regional, national, international powerhouse like RMC, they feel the comforts of seeing a risk management strategy come in because they know their employers spending money for their behalf. And then finally, it's all about complying with legal requirements. <clears throat> Many jurisdictions, employers are required by law to implement certain safety procedures. So it all that matters which state you're in. And obviously at RMC, we have this expertise to handle it. Well, it's interesting because, um, and you and I have talked about this offline, is, you know, it's all those reasons, but it's also what I have seen and probably what you have seen very recently is people say, well, why is my premium going up? That's Nothing has really changed or whatever. And what I have found is, and again, it gets to the difference between being with a risk manager versus somebody that's just selling a policy is, are they doing claims adjudication? Are they looking back over the last one, three, five years and saying, what were those large claims? Are they still there? We had a recent circumstance where we had um, a fairly large electrical company that had claims from four years ago that really hadn't been touched by um, the carrier or by the agent. And they were wondering why these why they were being affected and why their mod rate wasn't going down. In fact, it was going up because they have these incurred um, and reported claims, but they're not going away. And one of the things that we do effectively is in working with the client, but also with the carrier and if need be with their attorneys, to be able to say, how do we get these off of your roles? How do we how do we get this reserved and taken care of so that going forward, we look back and see a clean reserving record so that it's improving that moderate going forward. So yes, um, there are value to, see, yeah, to PEOs. There are values to companies like, um, what was it, Pi? Um, but there are other things that I think will give us a kind of a leg up. And I'd like to talk a little bit now about really what kind of separates a company like RMC that has been in business for 50 years as an actuarial uh, firm uh, doing third party administration, anywhere from you know captive insurance to property and casualty to health insurance and even um, pension administration. We are a true holistic um brokerage agency that can handle really anything that a a media, small, medium, or even a large size business can offer. And I think what it is, is really is knowing that with that much tenure and that much time, because there has been a significant change in the workplace over the last 50 years is, you know, we're very international in scope, but very local in touch. And it's people like you and I that actually go out and work with clients and say, okay, what are we trying to accomplish? And so, and again, it's, it's, it's having that holistic approach and saying, instead of, here's a policy that looks like it's for you, it's asking those questions saying, okay, what do you like about your carrier? Absolutely. What don't you like about your carrier? What's the advantage? What is your expectation? And to some extent, yeah, the client's always right, except when the client's wrong, then you really have to put on that di diplomacy and say, okay, here's where that step is not necessarily the most correct step forward. So what are your thoughts on, on what you've seen in the environment that we have that currently separates RMC? Absolutely, 100%. I would have to say it's our, you know, claims and mitigation. We'll go in there like you just hit it on before from a claim standpoint. If they sit on your policy as an open claim for, let's say, four years, the carrier is prone to uh, 
put a reserve on there. A reserve is the amount that they're estimating that the claim's gonna cost. Sometimes those reserves can be six figures. And therefore that's driving their experience mod up, influencing how much premium they're gonna pay and their premium is gonna go up as well. So that's one thing here at RMCs that I like to stress when I'm going in front of a client is our you know, claims mitigation, claims management. We have the ability, just like you said, to reach out to the carrier and negotiate on behalf of our clients. So those reserves, they're just estimates. So we can actually call them up and you know, ask them where they come up with those numbers. Can they lower it? Can we settle this faster to get it off of their policies, just like you insinuating prior? Well, and I, and I think you know what additionally helps is, well, workers' comp is obviously a significantly in mandated policy. It's also, what are those other policies that they're looking at? Property, either property and casualty or health are probably your largest, one of your largest expenses behind payroll um, that a business is seeing. And, and we can um, do a deep dive um, risk assessment. And that's what's amazing is it's actually a free comprehensive review. And in the open market, doing this or going to a hub or an Aon um, or an IOA, they may charge anywhere from fifteen to $20,000 to do this review. We'll do it for free because it's in our best interest to make sure that we know what that client is doing. And, you know, an educated client is the best client because they need to know what they have and what they need to do. And they can take some ownership in that. And that comprehensive review is extremely important. And I would say probably 40% of the time, a significant amount. We end up saying, no, stay where you're at. You're actually well covered. But as you've seen, post-COVID, we are in a generationally hard market. So you're seeing um, 20, 30, 40% increases. If you haven't had somebody look at your policies in the last three to five years, there's nothing about the marketplace today that is the same as it was three or four years ago. So if you're not having somebody look at it, a second eyes, a second set of eyes as you were, look at it, I think you're missing the boat. The only investment is the investment in time and the investment in sharing those policies or those loss runs because we actually have people, strange as it sounds, that actually enjoy reading property and casualty policies. We do, we do. <laughs> so, Terry, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewing public as to why RMC and why workers comp um, and some of the things that we can do to kind of help facilitate maybe some type of premium recapture in either our risk management or in our methodologies. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just hit on it before. It's uh, RMC's ability to go out there and offer a free, cons comprehensive uh, property and casualty policy reviews. Not only will we go over your workers' compensation policy, but we're also going to look at your property, commercial auto, general liability, your E&O exposure, and also a big thing right now is cyber insurance. Everybody's inquiring about cyber insurance, especially after the pandemic. Everybody went online. There's you know a lot of gaps in companies' coverages. So those are the benefits. A couple of the benefits that myself, you, and the rest of our colleagues at RMC can bring to the table that separates us from those pie insurance out there, insure tech on the internet, and or those PEOs out there with their co-employer relationship. You know, I, I, I thank you for taking the time today. And, and I think what you've actually done is wrapped it up very nicely, but you've also given us a significant topic for next time. Maybe we need to have a conversation about cyber insurance. I'm with you on that, Tom, 100%. Again. Um, to our viewing public, I, I thank you for taking the time to watch this. Um, I hope we can earn the opportunity to secure your business and, and, and help you look at things a little bit more profitably and a little bit more efficiently. And on behalf of everybody at RMC, be safe and thank you. Thank you.